Well, I guess sometimes insomnia isn't such a bad thing. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. We're just gonna straight up start with this. I know that they did it to Kylie or something happened to Kylie. Do you guys recognize that voice? Let me play it for you again. I know that they did it to Kylie or something happened to Kylie. I know that they did it to Kylie or something happened to Kylie. That is the voice of a woman from Truckee, California named Megan Cole. Megan Cole is the equivalent in the Kylie Rodney case as the WSU mom Kim is in the Idaho 4 case. Someone local claiming to know more about these horrendous cases than what the public is being told, and they've both made the rounds here on YouTube. Now, I know there's a lot of people who want to discredit people like this, but honestly, where does the most information come from in small towns? Usually, every morning around 6.30 in the morning, the truth will come from a small diner where a bunch of the elderly in the town will sit together and gossip. It's normally where the truth comes from. So whenever a local comes out and starts speaking to the public, while yes, we should be very weary of what people are telling us, whenever you can see connections and receipts are given and proof is proven, you should just listen. Maybe not completely, and yes, emotions can cause people's information to come out a bit askewed. That's been very recognizable, especially with the two women that we're talking about here. But the basics of their stories have never changed. It hasn't for WSU mom Kim, and it hasn't for Megan Cole. This is my theory, that something happened that was an accident, that the kids freaked out and tried to cover up told whoever needed to be told in order for the cover-up to continue and because it was an accident family is aware of the details and is so protective over these kids as we see her hugging all over sammy smith as sammy smith is said to have been not only the last one to have spoken to kylie but also very willingly admitted that she left a completely wasted 16 year old all by herself while she got a safe ride home that night there's a reason why there are so many emotions in that whole entire area that we as a group do not comprehend and like i've mentioned people from places like Truckee are programmed differently it's inbreded in them for generations we will never understand it no matter how much we try but just because that area is okay with completely not acknowledging that something horrible actually happened to kylie and instead of the truth coming out so that her name can technically be cleared her family and everyone else involved in this is totally okay with the world thinking that this beautiful bright intelligent hella high achiever drunk drove and floated to her death at the bottom of a shallow body of water no because not only again like i will state a thousand times over there was no water in her lungs to constitute that she drowned but if she actually just drunk drove into the water the california highway patrol would not still have an open investigation trying to figure out exactly how her suv got in there wouldn't it be pretty clear by now if her accidental death by drunk driving theory was actually real? So let me play that for you one more time. I know that they did it to Kylie or something happened to Kylie. So I will repeat the exact same question I've been asking for months now. When will there be justice for Kylie Rodney?